The time has come. A ratings reset. It tells us we haven't even played a game. It's time for redemption. It's time to break away from that 15 games ahead, but 35 loss record. It's time for a new me. This season, World Series, 25 and 0. Mark my words. We're not playing any games. We're coming for the top and we won't stop anywhere short. This man, this man is red, not bronze. Not silver, not gold, not even diamond. This man is red. He is a red diamond. 95 overall Roy O's. Great five pitch mix. Unbelievable stamina. Really good walks. Absolutely amazing control. He's going to be the one we use this episode. We don't have a win with him yet, and we need to get redemption. Time is now. And on the chopping block this episode, we have the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Start of the season really good for me. Was hitting 350, 400, moving my way up. We got to Hall of Fame. He started to fall off a little bit. He swings a noodle bat against good pitching, and it has absolute warning track power. None of his splits hit that 80 overall threshold that you're looking for when perfect perfects are hit. His fielding isn't anything amazing either. That 80 arm ends up noodleish once he's three steps to the right in the hole and his 56 speed i'd rather have pablo sandoval running the bases if i'm being frankly honest you're the only red on either team oswalt you have to be great the only red on either team now is not the time to slow down cargo i have high expectations and the shift doubles with cargo are absolutely ridiculous shift double here shift double there sprinkle a little shift double everywhere and posey with the weakest hit I've been known to mess up leadoff doubles from time to time. Maybe all the time. And here we go again. We're going to mess another one up. It's getting more and more nervous by the pitch. I pretend like my heart is not beating at 7,000 miles per hour in the first inning. And we take it! Good code, man. Just you and the ball. Just not! Hey, Roy, have you figured out that you're the only red on the field? Everyone else out there is blue. I might not even have to try. He's finally realizing he's red. Strike him out of Bayou Chipotle. Oh, baby, that's a chicken burrito for you, Oswald. Extra guac. We have the chance for the immaculate inning. Nine pitch, three strikeouts. Be lying if I said my hands weren't sweating. And we've done it. Immaculate inning. I knew the red Oswald was coming to play today. Maybe I will keep buying Oswald's hotel room. You want that steak dinner we talked about after this game, Nolan? All right, chopping block for Lindor. Oh, you're chopped, dude. That's it. Took me on my way to spring training after this one. Absolutely horrible job hitting. Nope. Because the way we're hitting, we're not going to win. Oh, M. All right, listen, Glaber. Get you an ice cream cone to strike out on this pitch. That man in 314 is the greatest vendor here. Go see him. Tell him it's on the house. So we can tell Glaber that they're the home team. We can work with that. And Roy Oswald laces one up the middle. Out of way to help yourself out. I just can never get that PCI placement with somebody that has actual power. It's unbelievable. Hey, back-to-back -back base hits. That's how we do. That man might never come out of my lineup. Now we sunburn. Extra sunscreen in the back pocket. And you're going to need it, son, because that's a double play. Why is it every time I'm in a kind of good situation, I absolutely choke? I could have done so many other things. And I chose to hit a two-hopper to the shortstop standing on second base. I'm going to pretend like this man didn't just have the absolute wrist snapper of all time. Just strike him out with this pitch instead. No balls to the pitcher. Okay, maybe just one ball. Because we don't want to get a base hit off us now. He's disgusting. He's like the homeless man under the highway. He's absolutely filthy. Whose idea was it to make this card of all cards worth 700,000 stubs? I have like one hit in my career with him. Casey Mize card makes me rethink my ability to play this game. Look at this. His sinker is absolutely filthy. Cutter every time gets me. Figuring him out. 50 pitches through four innings is horrible on our part. We need to do better. It's a good thing this guy couldn't hit the broad side of the barn. It's a good thing this guy has less hits than Carly Rae Jepsen. Poor man. I make an error to try to help you out, and you're going to strike out next hitter. Oh. 
I always get to pay when I start talking, don't I? Not a matter of if, but more a matter of when this guy hits a three-run home run off of me. And I'm also not going to say it's going to be now, but it's not going to be now as we turn a double play. Show him the power of the stash, Willie. That's it. Way to really get your whole body into it and make everyone fear the stash. Over his head. After pathetic four innings, zero to zero by no one's surprise. Cargo to cargo. He's sitting on the sinker first pitch because that's pretty much all I've thrown all game. Am I going to stop? Probably not. Should I? He's going to hit a home run the next time I do. Strikeout number seven. Somebody please do something I can put in the video. At this point, I could put crickets chirping, and it would be more interesting than this game. Maybe we could watch some paint dry. Howie. Howie, please. Please tell me you just ate some sunscreen and you're ready to go. All right, Howie. Act like you've been here before. And he has. We're testing the arm here. Good decision to test it. Howie with a double. Oh, yeah, I see you doing exercises, chasing down those Girl Scouts in the yards, paying off. He knows the cutter's going to get me every time. We saw the list where you were rated 20th best in the MLB. Show him why you're top five. That's why. It's not why. It's definitely not why. Can we take a moment to look at Oswald's stamina that it's about two-thirds of the way full and we are one out in the sixth inning? Maybe, just maybe there's an issue with that. Hey, I'm not one to complain. I'm just, just pointing out what could be maybe potentially wrong. Oh! And we do about the worst thing we could possibly do. We hit the guy on a two-strike count on accident. And give up a two-run shot to Mike Trout. This can't possibly go any worse. And after potentially the worst 10 seconds of my life, we're down two to nothing. Just like that. Time for Lindor to do something for us. I know it's coming. Sinker, we got a good piece. Good okay. The good okays are getting out now. Hey, we got one back. We'll take it. One step at a time. We can't complain about a good okay getting out. Such a good start with those, Walt, but we need every at bat we can take. We aren't messing around with you anymore. Show them why I'm a genius. So smart we make Albert Einstein look dumb. Got one, six outs to work with. Shut him down in the seventh. All right, we're going to be able to get six fastballs by him before he's going to catch up. Thought we were going to throw the fastball, didn't you? And we get him. Thank you, Blue. He's on our side. The strikeout tally's got to be good for this game. Making him look silly every chance we get. Good pitch, Chapman. Back to back K's. Going front door. Right through the front door. Okay, barging in, baby. Honestly, we might take till we have a strike for sure. We couldn't take till we had a strike because that was just too easy. Get out, ball. And it only gets to the track on good, good. We're getting robbed. No longer a matter of when. Just a matter of if I uninstall this game. Not going to be right now, though, as we smack Eckersley first pitch. Dumb decision to bring him in. Let's go, Bellinger. Puts a jolt into that one in the gap. That's going to go ahead and score the run. Let's go. And that game is now tied 2-2 two two with four outs to go. Big at bat. Let's get one. And Nolan gets that ball down. Come on, ball. Absolutely blooped, and we love to see it. Bloop doubles out of Nolan Arenado, scoring the run. We take it. And Lindor knocks one down the line. That's going to score another run as Eckersley really just isn't it. I have yet to pitch with him online, and I've heard nothing but bad about him. I think this is proof. We take the 4-2 to two lead late. All right, and we're bringing in Mike Piazza. Show us what kind of pizza he is today. We're looking for Supreme or Meat Lovers. Staying away from anchovies. And Glaber puts one up the middle. That's also going to get through. Looks like we're going to score a run there. 
as he does decide to hit the cutoff and he's gonna throw to third to get us out but we did score the run up five to two six outs to go eighth inning calls for that nasty slider and Ottavino we got him on this pitch though he's not ready he wasn't ready K counter in the top corner gotta be at least 12 Very productive eighth. One more to go. Let's swing him, get some more. Oh, Kerry Wood, you give me wood. Your fastball is juicy. Honestly, 0 for 4, and I really expect nothing less. Every single time I talk shit about somebody, they do good. I think that's the new strategy. I'm just going to go up there yapping my guns off about them. They're just going to get hits for me. It works when I'm pitching, too. Except in the hitter's favor, of course. Howie Sunburn, though, puts one in the gap off the wall. Breaking again. Jeff Bomb. Jeff Pop. Back. Where do you think you're going? Why? Well, I, we're not friends anymore, Posey. I'm about to put your face to the franchise version in. And strikeout number 42 in the book. It is remarkable that I am winning. The amount of mistakes I've made this game. And the amount of pitches I've left absolutely directly over the middle of the plate. And we still are winning. We've been known to blow leads from time to time. I refuse to let this be one of them. And we get two down. His back's against the wall. Ready to crush him. Strike three. Throw him out at first base. And that's going to do it. I have two victory. We had one bad pitch the entire game. Here we are post game taking a look at a couple of the stats and if we scroll down and maybe look at our shortstop Francisco Lindor he had two hits scored two runs had two RBIs and was the man on the chopping block so I think he maybe has moved on to chop champions at this point Oswald delivered a fantastic start on the mound 11 K's through six innings he had two earned runs and that came on an oopsie pitch to Mike Trout Chapman had three K's a perfect inning and Ottavino had five of the six that he threw against 19 total in the game spring training rewards in the book regular season reward in the book all-star reward in the book pennant race in the book all right, and with that first win in the books, we are now 1-0 on the new season. It says we have 27 innings played. Not sure what that's all about. We scored five runs, had a 351 batting average, on-base percentage at 400, a 2 ERA, and a .56 whip. It is miraculous that I found a way to win. Absolutely amazing. Oswald showed that being a red player really does matter. Stood out from the rest, had a ridiculous start. So the only red player on the squad did a phenomenal job. Prove me wrong. All right, that's going to do it for me in this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. We had a great debut. Only red player on the field was Roy Oswald, and boy, did he impress. Had a phenomenal game for us. Make sure you like this video and subscribe. Comment down below with any suggestions for me in the next video. Other shortstops that you'd like to see go head to head with Lindor and Hanley Ramirez for my shortstop position. Until next time, peace.